Hello, and welcome to my video expressing my opinion of a certain company and their, the way that they are. Um, I'm going to read a story first, and then I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to read an email and give a rant about this company. This is from the Book of Virtues, and it's by Leo Tolstoy, which is a great writer. You know, Leo Tolstoy says, All friendships have their ups and downs. Learning to put aside disagreements makes companionship long-lasting. This is called Little Girls Wiser Than Men. It was an early Easter. Sledging was ju only just over. Snow still lay in the yards, and water ran in streams down the village street. Two little girls from different houses happened to meet in a lane between two homesteads where the dirty water, after running through the farm farmyards, had formed a large puddle. One girl was very small, the other girl, the other a little bigger. Their mothers had dressed them both in new frocks. The little one wore a blue frock, the other a yellow print, and both had red kerchiefs on their heads. They had just come from church when they met, and first they showed each other their finery, and then they began to play. Soon the fancy took them to splash about in the water, and the smaller one was going to step into the puddle, shoes and all, when the elder checked her. Don't go in so, Malesha, she said, said she. Your mother will scold you. I will take off my shoes and stockings, and you take off yours. They did so, and then, picking up their skirts, began walking toward each other through the puddle. The water came up to Malasha's ankles, and she said, It is deep, Aikewala. I'm afraid. Come on, replied the other. Don't be frightened. It won't get any deeper. When they got near one another, Aquela said, Mind, Malasha, don't splash. Walk carefully. She had hardly said this when Malasha pumped, plumped down her foot, so that the water splashed right onto Aquila's frock. The frock was splashed, and so were Aquila's eyes and nose. When she saw the stains on her frock, she was angry and ran after Malasha mm -hmm. to strike her. Malasha was frightened, and seeing that she had got herself into trouble, she scrambled out of the puddle and prepared to run home. Just then, Aquila's mother happened to be passing, and seeing that her daughter's skirt was splashed, and her sleeves dirty, she said, You naughty, dirty girl, what have you been doing? Malasha did it on purpose, replied the girl. At this, Aquila's mother seized Malasha and struck her on the back of the neck. Malasha began to howl so that she could be heard all down the street. Her mother came out. What are you beating my girl for? said she, and began scolding her neighbor. One word led to another, and they had an angry quarrel. The men came out, and a crowd collected in the street, everyone shouting and no one listening. They all went on quarreling till one gave another a push, and the affair had very nearly come to blows, when Aquila's old grandmother, stepping in among them, tried to calm them. What are you thinking of, friends? Is it right to behave so, on a day like this, too? It is time for rejoicing and not for such folly as this. They would not listen to the old woman, and nearly knocked her off her feet, and she would not have been able to quiet the crowd if it had been, not been for Aquila and Malasha themselves. While the women were abusing each other, Aquila wipe, had wiped the mud off her frock and had gone back to the puddle. She took a stone and began scraping away the earth in front of the puddle to make a channel through which the water could run out into the street. Presently, Malasha joined her, and with a chip of wood helped her dig the channel. Just as the men were beginning to fight, the water from the little girl's channel ran streaming into the street toward the very place where the old woman was trying to pacify the men. The girls followed it, one running on each side of the little stream. Catch it, Malasha! Catch it! shouted Aquila, while Malasha could not speak for laughing. Highly delighted and watching the chip float along on their stream, the little girls ran straight into the group of men, and the old woman, seeing them, said to them, the men, Are you not ashamed of yourselves? 
to go fighting on account of these last lassies, 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 when they themselves have forgotten all about it and are playing happily together. Dear little souls, they are wiser than you. The men looked at the little girls and were ashamed and laughing at themselves went back to, to his own home. Except ye turn and become as you as little children, ye shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that is the story of little girl, girls wiser than men. And the reason I shared that story was because, honestly, I think that's how people are in general. And I think it's sad when we all have disagreements and instead of being adults and just listening to one another, we make it worse because when the person doesn't feel listened to, then they get more upset and then the other person, you know, has the power. But it's like they become childish and it feels like both parties become childish. And I just think that more people should just listen to each other and learn from each other. And even if it doesn't seem like that person could know anything, you know, even if they're not like up at that level, I still think, you know, there's wisdom everywhere. There's wisdom in any person. And I do believe that I've been discriminated against. Um, I've been trying to be, you know, decent about it, to hold my tongue and to let it go in. At one point I did stop dealing with them, but it just feels like it's wrong and I have to speak out about it because if it happens to me, it probably happens to other people and not many people say things, you know, on the app they do and I've seen other people talk about it on the Google Play app, but, you know, they have a 3.8 rating on the actual app itself, but you don't see that in the actual, you know, in people's stuff, and nobody, I've looked them up on Google, and they're not being talked about, I'm the only one that gave a review at all, positive or negative, and I just... I think that people are being told, you know, they realize probably when they do speak out that that they are discriminated and so maybe they retract their statement or whatever and I did at one point and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to say this because I feel it's right and I usually do what I feel is right because I don't think that it, it's fair if somebody just takes a biasism and because of that they are rude and they you know this is what what I'm talking about I'm talking about scene bot and as most of you know I'm I love acting so much so much it's like life for me and you know at one point I did I thought that they had a really great a really great idea and in retrospect it is still a great idea and, you know, I do really love the app itself. I've learned a lot about, you know, what not to do and what to do um, as far as, like, if I want, don't want all my things to get ruined, like, you're not supposed to uninstall the app or else it deletes everything that you have on there, all your, any of your scenes or sides, you know, any of the script scenes that you created, it's gone. And I learned that the hard way the first time because it actually did happen and I was so upset like I didn't know that was gonna happen and you know I think that a lot of the things is maybe they don't say enough they don't tell people enough you know so when it happens people are taken off guard you know I've heard a lot of people say that the app will close a lot it will you know the app will freeze or it won't record the scene right, or whatever, you know, and I, I've had that issue at times, and I've realized that you have to, um, sorry about that, um, I'm going to read you the email I got in this last, um, audition, I did, I did my, a scene, and they, 
give always give you feedback and based on the feedback you can pretty much decide on how they feel about what you did and you know I did a you all know what I did as my scene um so here's what I got and I got this pretty quick too says Lisa here's some feed feedback on your last audition personality you're unique Good job bringing your own special personality to the role. Keep up the good work. Connection with the scene partner. Are you feeling the connection you're making with your scene partner? When you form the connection, the scene instantly becomes organic, real, and it helps sell the moment as genuine. Character. Well done. Can you think of new traits to give the character you've created? Don't hold back. If in doubt, do. Great characters are seldom tame. Emotional range. It feels like you understand the key moments in the script that call for a shift in the emotions of your character. Well done. When you rehearse the script, ask yourself if those are all the moments that called for by the script. Don't be afraid to dig deep. Belie believability. Good work. Work through any lines that you don't understand completely to make sure you're delivering them honestly. If your performance is honest, it will come off as believable. Objective. You've tapped into your character's objective, but have you explored it fully? What else in the subtext of the dialogue? What else is in the subtext of the dialogue? Be sure to find all the moments, they are opportunities. Choices, well done. The choices you make bring the characters to life in ways the casting director and writers might not have imagined. Keep going, stay consistent, and continue making strong choices that suit the character and scene. Lines. Nice work on le learning the lines. This frees you up to concentrate on fine-tuning your performance. Confidence. Co the confidence you show is key to being noticed, to commanding attention. Keep striving to build even more self-assuredness. Well done. The scene bot review team. That was my feedback. And, you know, based on that, I really think that I did a really amazing job. Um... They, a lot of times, do give good um, good praise, and always they've done that with me. The main time I ever had, you know, any, the first time I did the scene bot scene, I had a lot more, like, suggestions and tips and, you know, pieces of advice from them. I didn't get as many well dones, and, you know, I knew because I was new. And I didn't understand every little thing. So I was like, you know, I was expecting that. And, you know, but ever since, I've pretty much gotten a lot of good feedback um, comments. I've always get the well done and good job. And, you know, they, they know I know what I'm doing. Now. And it kind of shows that they know what I, that I know what I'm doing. But... Ever since March, the last time I got either honorable mention or top selects was March of 2019. And I don't remember exactly, I can look up when I actually post reposted on Yelp that review. I'm not exactly sure when I reviewed it. Um, I don't remember, but I'm guessing it's probably somewhere around there. But um, ever since March, that was my last like anything good because that's the only amount I have on there that's good. After that, it was pretty much, I haven't gotten anything since. So I'm like, okay, I don't get honorable mention. I don't get top selects, like nothing, nothing, like nothing. And I'm like, what the heck? Like some of them I really was surprised because there was a lot of ones I did well and Probably some of them I did better than when they did give me the top selects and the honorable mentions. And apparently I redid my scene by scene on July 1st. So March, I must not have done anything April or May, not even June. Okay, um, so I don't know. I don't remember all the difference. I might have skipped a month here, a month there, too. I think there was one month that I didn't even do scene bot. So, um, 
And then there was this last time I really wasn't interested because I was like, you know, they seem boring. But this time, this month, I, this past month, I, or this month that we're in now, I did do. And that's the one that they told me I was so great on. And I'm like, okay. You know, I noticed that the same, sometimes the same people get chosen on the top 10. And I'm like, that doesn't seem fair. You know, I think that sometimes it does depend on who you know. And a big thing of it is popularity. Once you even are on the top selects anyway, that's kind of where I, at one point, I was like so bored of even doing it. Because I would get like, even if I got top selects, which I did a couple times, I was I wasn't chosen because you they after they do their team and they judge, then they go and you have to share it with all your friends and your family and those who support you and those people have to have to um go and choose you and they have to put like a like to your thing and that's how they grade it. Like, I think that's more of a popularity contest than showcasing your talent. I don't think just because you have more support and fr from friends and family that that will mean that you're better as an actor or actress than of everybody else, you know? There's a lot of people that start out with very little support. It doesn't mean they're not good at acting. And... It's just really a sad thing that they do it that way because there might be some people that do really well, but you wouldn't know because they don't have people that care, you know, and I realized that so it kind of started making me not really want to do that anyways, but all right, I'm going to read one last thing here, and this is my review that I did on Yelp um, back in July. July 1st of 2019, and I gave them two stars. And I'm the only one that even reviewed them at all. I said, I honestly believe they are showing not only racial discrimination, but now prejudice, prejudicialness as well, because I tried to speak out before against the way they treated me and their the way their app operates. I believe in sharing because honestly, I appreciate reading reviews others share so I know what kind of service or quality I can expect to receive. And no one should be treated differently, even if they bring out truths about someone. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, Seenbot app is a place for actors who are interested in breaking into the industry to be seen and heard by top directors. It's a wonderful place <clears throat> to fine-tune your craft. And I have to admit, it is a genius idea, especially if you are new to this industry and do not have acting school near an acting school nearby to keep fresh and keep yourself polished. It has helped me to see both my strengths and my weaknesses so I can learn, grow, and get better. Unfortunately, the staff and tech agents are the ones I have issues with. I told them the truth that they really need to work on improving the app. It has many issues with it, and twice now it has refused to accept my scene. Then when they, then when they said they supposedly fixed it, the app acted like I had already submitted my scene, so I had to redo it all over, which was very disheartening to me since I really loved that take. I brought this to the attention of the tech guys and then the president who helped me the first time, thinking he could help me again. He never wrote back, so I can only assume he was just humoring me the first time. He didn't mean anything nice by it. And another thing, since being open about how I felt, I still get nice compliments, like always, by the staff, but I haven't had one honorable mention or top select since sharing my opinion and speaking out. That's sad to be so childish because someone tells the truth. I've watched many other scenes on the app, and honestly, many of their choices are dull, and some can't even get the lines all the way right, but they never give me an, even an honorable mention. I find it discriminatory that even that all the time white women do my same scene and yes maybe give a performance correctly too but the specific ones I see over and over getting it in the top 10 do so with little heart or emotion and I give the same performance but with so much more energy it's kind of obvious why they were chosen over me it's actually hard to stomach even watching some of them I really don't even think this is an app based on actual talent versus a popularity contest 
It could actually be a great place to learn and grow together in the industry and be a family of like-minded people if things were worked on. It's like the actor becoming the best version of himself, but sometimes even those in charge need a few a few fine-tuning lessons. Just my own personal two cents based on an experience in the last few months, and I hope others are treated better than me. In the end, you can think whatever you want of my review, but I'm not alone in how I feel about the app, and I'm sure there are others out there who have been overlooked as well. It's kind of annoying and just laughable to think they could start treating me this way, merely because I am bringing up a touchy point where few are willing to do. I'm not scared. Right is right, and in the end, justice will prevail. And that's kind of what I feel about it. I'm literally really considering on staying off of it now. I've already deleted, uninstalled it from my device, and I really love acting, you know? And it's really hard because I really want to make a difference. But if I have childish people who are the judges, they're never going to see past what I said about them. And to me, that's that's not that's not my acting abilities. That's how I am as a person. I don't think you should mix a personal opinion of somebody with how they act. You know, if you're really wanting to be a professional in the industry and give each person that benefit of the doubt, then I think that you know, it should be based 100% on the person's talent, nothing about what they say. And sadly, I don't think that's how things are in the real world. So I'll have to just stick with my agency and hopefully I get noticed there. But that's my opinion on SceneBot and why I'm not going to keep doing it. And I hope that you're not treated the same way too.